So hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Naughty business owners said buy fake reviews. Be warned, Google is now cracking down on fake reviews, but this shouldn't be news to you if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, because in the past I've talked about Google's policies against fake reviews. Now, I have quite a few clients, local business clients, not only in the US, but I do local business SEO in Australia, I do local business SEO in the UK, I also work with agencies that have clients. So what I know from experience is that there's a, there was a time when you, when you could buy a certain number of, let's say, fake reviews, but then people selling those fake, fake reviews became, well, they became more fake because they started using AI to generate these reviews. I think there were some people selling this on Fiverr and they were using a system that if you purchase, let's say 500 fake reviews for your Google business profile, all they did was plug in your, your profile management, plug your stuff into the profile management software and it would auto generate reviews, like two or three reviews every day. And it would do that until it reached a 500 mark. And, and in which case they were literally making money on autopilot and you were getting reviews. Now businesses in the past were not getting suspended in mass like they are getting suspended now. It's not about buying reviews. So the question here is, why has Google started to crack down on this? And has Google found a way to tell the difference between a fake review and a real review? Well, before I go into how Google is detecting this, let me just start with what the news says, and then I will dissect and explain to you why this is something you shouldn't be too worried about, and if you follow the, the right process to rank a business profile, you shouldn't have to worry about even reviews to begin with. So let's start with what we already know and what Google is telling us. So Google posted this. So businesses that violate, and there's a screenshot of this, by the way, over here on the, on the left, and there's a link to this uh, policy in the description. So you can click the link and you're gonna read the policy in its entirety. So let's go with the main parts here. So it says businesses that violate our fake engagement policy may be subject to certain restrictions if we determine violative activities on their profile. So the three examples include not being able to get reviews, having existing reviews unpublished, or a notice on your Google business profile. Now I tested this and I'll show you what I got. So business profiles will not be able to receive new reviews or ratings for a set period of time. So if your business profile has been flagged, you know, you're not gonna receive new reviews. It's kind of be blocked out. People will not be able to leave a review for you. Business profiles, existing reviews or ratings will be unpublished for a set period of time, usually over seven days. So if you have like make other reviews, all of those will become invisible for the next seven days or 10 days or whatever may be the case. Then business profile will display a warning to let consumers know that fake reviews were removed. I think this is probably the most damaging because if your profile shows a warning that you were engaging in fake reviews, your business, is, your business loses credibility right away and it drops, it plummets as a matter of fact. So this is something you never want to have on your profile. So in the past, this was for UK only businesses and I saw many UK only businesses being flagged and they were, this is, but it, it wasn't like they were displaying this message that they were buying fake reviews, but all the reviews became invisible. Um, and it, it wasn't really a message or something until you went in and you figured it out, but it would be for like four or five days and it'll get back to normal, depending on how much you have offended or how many times you have offended before this. And, but in the US, this has, this has changed. Um, now this is globally, so not only in the US, this is in Australia and everywhere. So the question is, how is Google gonna implement this? And how does Google know that a set of reviews or a given set of reviews are fake? Now you can have, let's say 100 totally genuine reviews, but then you could have three reviews that are fake. So how, how can Google tell? Well, you're using AI, and Google is now a lot better at detecting AI. And so what a lot of people do, they even go and buy these reviews from Fiverr or they go to some other marketplace or even when they're buying it from someone, whatever. So this person isn't just going in and typing out these reviews and as, as a regular person who has really used the service, what they would use AI, they would auto-generate the review, copy and paste, bam, they're done. They're not charging a lot for it, so you can't expect them to put in a lot of work. And usually, 
their profile has a pattern of leaving these types of reviews. So Google is not only tracking the reviews itself, it's also tracking the profile that's leaving those reviews. And in order to leave reviews, you need to have a profile that has a history. So you can't just create a Google account today and start relieving reviews tomorrow. There's a, there, there's a way to doing it before. If you start, if you create a Google account today and you start leaving reviews tomorrow, those reviews are not going to show up. So you have to kind of cultivate that profile. Now, the problem here is that a lot of people are approaching this incorrectly. They're using AI to auto-generate the reviews, copy and paste, bam, bam, bam. They're done. They're made their money. They're moving on. But now, even if you have 100 genuine reviews and they've got two fake reviews, you could be shut down. So, and this could literally shut your business down because a message saying that you buy, you're buying fake reviews puts the 100 reviews that you have from genuine customers into question. You're also not allowed to incentivize leaving reviews. So if you send the customer an email saying, you know what, you've done a great job, we'll give you a 10% discount of your next order. If you leave us a great reviewer here, Google finds out that's two against Google's policies. And now let me reiterate here. There are a lot better ways to rank your Google business profile if you have, let's say, 10, 20 good genuine reviews you don't have to engage in buying fake reviews or other better ways of ranking a google business profile i have custom clients that are out ranking people or businesses that have 100 reviews with only just 10 reviews so is google is not just looking at the reviews it's looking a lot a lot of other stuff which people are not considering so let this be a warning to anyone who wants to leave fake reviews and if you have a question feel free to leave a comment below if you're looking for an audit our website is cloudseodubai.com and I will see you guys in the next video.